Good morning everyone. My name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how easy it is to initialize field values using RSP Designer. To begin with we have made a very simple application which basically is uh, reflecting uh, the departments as well as employees. And say for example we can pick a couple of use cases that when somebody is trying to add an employee we would like the hire date to be today's date and then say for example we can go for more advanced validation or uh, initialization here sorry so let's actually go for the initialization value on the higher date this is what we call as a very simple initialization where we would like to go to the add employee page pick the field value whichever field value we would like to bring in and when we are trying to say initialize when adding record what we would like to do here is we would like to say that while adding record rather than the default value of the higher date I would like to remove it and then right click on the formula section go to the functions of date and time and pick today this basically is telling the system that I want the higher date to be automatically defaulted to today's date let's make sure that this thing works first of all so we rebuild the application we go back to our employee section page and we're going to click on the add page I'm expecting my hire date to be populated with today's date. And sure enough, it was populated with today's date. And of course, it's showing time because the field is of date time format. Now, let's actually take this initialization a step, uh, um, step ahead where we would like the national ID number to be populated based on whatever the maximum national ID number exists in the system plus 10. Now in order to do that it's a little bit tricky because in order to do that you really need to first of all find the maximum national ID number and then append 10 to it. So as you can see the national ID number exists in the database in one particular field. So what we have done here is we have made a simple view get max national ID number where we have a record ID which is a PK of 1 and then we are calculating the maximum national ID number and if you basically run the query you will see that the my na maximum national record ID number is 999-440-576 given the view that we have made what we have done is we have went to, we have gone to RSP designer included this view in RSP designer and made record ID a virtual primary key by us doing that we can always fetch the value of the maximum national ID number from this view so once you have done this much work what we can do is we can go to national ID number and rather than its default value what we would like to do is we would like to get the value but of course over here we don't have any get record let me see if I have database get column value yes we do have a get column value so first thing is system is going to ask me for the name of the table in this case really we are not fetching the value from the table we are really fetch, fetching the value from a view. The view name is get, get max national ID. So I will go in and type in get max national ID. Then the value comes for key. In my case, what we have done is we have made the key in such a way that the key for the record ID will always be one. That's kind of a little trick we played. So in key, we will just put the one and field name will be the name of the field which is giving me the maximum value which is max national ID so I can basically populate it so as you can see what we're doing is we are telling the system to go to a, this view which has been converted to become a table by virtue of the virtual primary key pass in the one which is the PK of the record and then the field value that we want to get out and in our case it has to be also in double quotes because it is the name of the field now system will assign you this value and we would like to convert this value to be a decimal value which I can go in or, or the integer value I can go in and I can parse it to become an integer so I'm going to just delete this thing and go back to the end so now this formula is going to get the value give it to me and it's an integer and now I can add 10 to it so let's basically see if that works first of all I want to make sure the 576 were the last three digits based on what I have in my database as of right now I'm going to add one record after adding one record to the employee I want to add a second record to make sure the first record that we just added also gets picked up 
So in this particular thing, I'm rebuilding the application. After rebuilding the application, I go back to my employee table. I can click on add. And as soon as I click on add, I want to make sure that my system is going to bring me the ID, which is 10 more than what we had. And as you can see, my maximum ID was 576. What system brought is 586. I can go in, fill my values, whatever I want here. and I'm just filling some values just so that we can enter the field I can say save and close of course login is required and just remember 586 for the last three digits so this new employee was added now if I click on add again it's going to be 586 is actually coming again so somehow actually it seems like the view was not saved up. Let's actually try to click on the view again. And actually it is still 576. Not sure why the number is matching or mismatching, but that's uh, besides the point. What I'm, what I'm really trying to focus here is, as you can see, we are able to get a value from some other table and then add the value to it. I really have to see what uh, was the reason why the national ID number is still saying that this was the max value triple nine this time actually I'm going to try to see if I can enter the value manually five eight six was the value I would like to actually query not take too much time but I, I'm interested in doing a query here I'm going to see if the system did add the record here or not. It seemed like the record was not saved. We have to figure out why the record was not saved and that's why when we are really trying to run this again the maximum number is really 586. The gist of this was that I'm trying to focus on the national ID number being a formula based initialization value which is what I'm really trying to focus here that you can calculate it based on certain calculations, certain field values from certain data sources and then do your own calculations. I hope uh, you folks uh, are able to understand how flexible and how advanced initialization can be when you can use all the formulas and the uh, strength behind these formulas which is available to you in RNSP Designer. Hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching for other videos from Lightspeed Solutions as well as other fellow MVPs as these videos provide excellent source of information. Thanks.